so today I'm going to teach you how to get a very good theme park that you wish and yeah so we're gonna start off with a money farm now if you don't want to do a money farm um, and you think like oh money farms cheating money farms cheating well there's an easy way around that well not an easy way it's just basically takes longer than a money farm you can build gentle rides so you can build a few gentle rides to replace the money farm but it's not as efficient and more of a pain so I'd recommend a money farm so when you start off just close your park don't need it open I like to change my entry cost to one pound but it's up to personal opinion just get rid of all of this bye 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 closed the park is closed get out how i like to do it is i create a long thick path this is actually from my friend kind of copied a little bit a long thick path all the way down to the end now the reason why i'm doing that is because when you don't do that and you like build coasters here 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 and all around this piece of path here you struggle to get to this space here you struggle you have to go around you have to build a path around your coasters to get to the extra space you have but when you have a path down the middle you can just build coasters there 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 and all down the sides so six of a money farm so get the path and build it down here loads of bins people are obsessed with bins um i'm going to choose this bin and i'm going to place them around like so bins because if you don't place bins there's rubbish everywhere and the way you have to clean the rubbish is you tap on it and then your legs start like helicoptering or something and it's weird so yeah we don't want that so build your bins guys or you get badness a coaster i'm going to pick junior coaster and we're going to put it facing the the the, the oh, <laughs> how do i describe this different direction like the path's going down here we want it facing over here when you're building whatever coaster of your choice you must add two of these two of these then you start going upwards up up i can only go up twice because then i'll go off the edge see it won't let you go out there um then you go here enter build mode build entrance build an exit boom open the ride as you put it in testing to see if it because we don't want it flying off the edge we want it to go up and back down then open it reduce the price by half because if you don't well the people won't go on the ride they'll say it's too expensive now that you've got one ride you can open up your park open now let's build a few more rides i will return when i've built all the rides and also build different variety of rides like you don't want to build just a whole bunch of junior coasters so um here's the next part you have to do in the process so as you can see we've got all these rides 43 people enjoying them lovely but if you have a look well i'm not gonna say how, if you have a look there's none of them <sighs> Wait, see those red things those are complaints see 
They want drinks. They want toilets. They want hats. So, you have two options. Well, the, the, you can probably think of more, but there's two that I can tell you. So, you either delete, like, you either delete these two bits and these two bits and kind of place them there. Or, you do what I'm going to do because I'm going to delete these shots later and place them somewhere more practical. Um, you place them here in any place around where you can find. So I'm just going to quickly place them half the prices. boom we gained about like 20 people or so from just placing them down now there's still more we can place down some benches tables i'm just gonna go with benches because they're they fit on the edges of paths like this the practicality of these benches and now you can't see any red oh well you can but some people just complain when some people complain when the stuff isn't needed now I'm gonna tell um okay my my friend I see piney also that's another idea of a way you can do this. Which, sorry, I see Piney if you're watching this, it, it, Ruben, I guess. You place these down. And then, you can change the product colour to, say, your tickets are yellow. And, well, not tickets, uh, see, look, it looks like you've got a like your drink isn't a practical idea but basically you change it to a colour oh god this is a bad example I shouldn't have made a soft drink stall one minute basically you change the product colour to whatever colour your tickets are like tickets like you, you get a ticket when you pay to enter like that and then you can lay them out like here um, here, here, and you can pretend they're ticket booths, and you can build like a building around it, but, yeah, now we have built the farm, we have about 70, oh my god, 70 people, <sighs> first time we've parked, and that has gotten me how many stars? One and a half stars. And it will get you my extremely fast. Now, you can then go ahead and come over here and build, well, even more money farm. So I'm going to do that. Um, later <laughs> I'm going to do that later you'll see it when we go on the next episode no, can I call it episode? I don't know when, when I come back from also hello I'm back from not uploading for ages and deleting all my Roblox content because I thought it was bad anyway back and thank you for watching this is it. I know it looks sad. Maybe if I, at the end of the video, I'll show you a clip of when I add even more over here. More large money farm. 
and yeah see you in the next video oh yeah and here's the person who inspired the tickets i didn't realize he was here hello his channel is icy piney i can't go and put it in the description